All right, today we're going to try something a little different before we get started. You know you guys uh, love to advertise our belts, best belt on the planet. Make sure you get you one. Uh, down here in the bottom left hand corner is a little red deal. You can subscribe. New to us, make sure you ring the bell, click the bell so you can get notifications of uh, all our videos. Make sure that you get them if you got a YouTube account. All right, so today is going to be kind of a first for me because I'm going to try to explain something to help you guys out. I don't really not sell anything today other than belts. This is just good information um, using the camera, and we're going to be recording a computer screen that's sitting here, and we're going to be looking at some pictures. Of primary clutches so this the name of this video is the most important uh, view for troubleshooting primary clutches and and we have people send us inside of their primary clutch so we can tell what's going on all right so today uh, like I said we're gonna be looking at some pictures I'm gonna do a picture in a picture or split screen whatever you want to call it first time for really both of these on our videos so if it's kind of wonky, then just deal with it. We'll get better over time, okay? All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at primary clutch. Now this, some of this is applicable to Can-Ams and Polaris, uh, you know, so, I mean, the, for you uh, Can-Am guys, this picture still, uh, picture worth a thousand words. So where your belt's sitting, what's going on down in your clutch is just as important to you as a Polaris guy up until this day, we just had more experience with the Polaris stuff than, than we do with the Can-Am thus far. Sitting right behind this camera is a brand new Can-Am to start working on. All right, so you can follow my mouse around and you can see these arrows. Actually, I'm gonna use my fingers instead of my mouse. So first, let's take a look at this picture. All right, first of all, we can see right here, if this picture had been taken centered, a little better centered, actually you can look right down here in this area, that belt appears to be touching the back side of this clutch, okay? So, touching one side or the other is an alignment issue, so disregard this part for right now. So, if you take this picture of your clutch is healthy, and you see that it's touching one side or the other, that is an alignment issue, depending on the vehicle, um, and on the players in particular, we have an alignment tool that can help you get that straight. Okay, now then, I want you to notice, this is a picture I actually sent back to a customer after he sent me. See where this arrow is pointing right here? What's happened is that piece right there is a piece of inside of the bearing. His black washer, uh, somehow or another, is gone, and then this, this bearing, mostly during the idling really, has come over here and cut into the back side of the clutch, and this is actually a piece of the inside of this bearing, okay? I have a, a couple more picks. Right. Now, here's another one, okay? Now this one actually, for alignment purposes, you can see that there's a gap here. You can see through the light there's a gap here. So this guy is clutched. He does not have an alignment issue, but once again, he's his black washer is missing and that clutch right there, here's the odd part. The clutch, uh, the bearing is not, eh, it's hard to tell in this particular picture. I know you see that, but if you'll look corresponding, I think some of this can come from here because it's a little bit outside this ring, but we have had some with over travel where the clutch uh, closes up too far and, and the two halves meet when they shouldn't. And then therefore in this area right here, this right here, and I don't think this is because that doesn't look like the same plane, but this part right here will come over and touch and then make marks on it right there. This does in fact look more like the bearing is touched. Now with this being said, this clutch is toast. He can't use it, you can't buy the back half. So uh, this guy needs a, a new primary clutch. All right, here's another picture now. Look at this mess. All right, so not only 
uh, it does actually appear. Now he's got a bad angle when you when you send pictures or you when you're sending pictures or you're taking pictures for you to look at. This is a perfect example of how not to take a picture. Uh, it's almost right, except that he should have been a little more in the center because it is very hard to tell right here. I mean, you know, the novice, you know, quotation novice, might say, well, he has an alignment issue too. Well, maybe not because we're not over here. You know, I'm flicking back for a picture to the camera, but we're not over here. So we're over here looking across at it and it looks like alignment, whereas if he had the camera right centered of his clutch, and I'll point out right here, you see that little gap? It's very possible that he does not have an alignment issue, okay? So keep that in mind. Camera placement when you're checking this is extremely important. Must be in the center. All right, so what in the world has he got going on here? Well, he appears to not only have part of his bearing coming out, and I can't tell if that's the original black wash or not. It actually looks like it is, and it actually looks like it has not done damage. And FYI, when when you're taking these pictures, and like I said, you center, and then you're going to want to, let me use this piece of a clutch here. Well, let's go this way. All right, so this, then you're going to want to focus that back this direction. All right, flick down to the picture again, because when you're going from that direction, looking back here, now, go back up, we can look into this this portion here. Okay, so it's really two pictures at an angle and 100% square. Okay, so this guy uh, appears, from what I can tell, that might be the original black washer, hard to tell, but that's certainly the guts of the primary. So my advice to him uh, and obviously his bearing is gone, his belt is gone. You know, there's this gap, and I, and I never had finished this statement. So the fact that this bearing is so far away from his back half leads me to think that maybe he has a spider nut spider backed off also. So then, then the two has a clutch are further apart, the bearing ridden over, and then he's got that big gap. And therefore, we're back to the picture here, his belt is going down in the gap. Okay, let's see if we can look back at these three pictures. Uh, actually, this will this will work for argument's sake. So, you know, to sum up or semi sum up, <coughs> you certainly want to look look at what we've talked about alignment back back in this direction. Are you missing this black washer? Is a barren hanging out? What's the barren look like? Okay, wire wise. All right, see this uh, this little ring right here. Let's let's go back and look at all. All three. All right, see that little wear ring, that little wear ring. Let's go back. That little wear, that little wear. I did it again. That little wear ring right there. All right, that, those little rings, uh, well, uh, you probably couldn't see it on this one or not. This thing don't have no miles on it, but they're, because of where your belt, we'll just use this okay, as an illustration. Your belt is sitting down there and this thing's spinning, your belt's sitting there. So it's liable to touch and then when you give it the gas and the two sides come in, the belt is always hitting right there at the bottom. So the, when the clutch is turning and the belt is not, is, as you start off, is always going to put a tiny little groove here. So the thing to do, and go back to our picture, the thing to do, look at, is really above that. Uh, none of these actually, this one, again, they, sometimes the pictures are hard to tell, but let's assume right there that that, that is where. See that, let's make, let's make a, a lot like a curve, if you will. You go, oh yeah, I see, that's, that's a good bit of wear. Is that, is that the regular line or is it worn in past that? You know, right in here, it looks like there's more wear to this thing and right in there than just our normal uh, wear ring from from a belt. Uh, let's go over to this one. Now see, this this one I would consider relatively normal. So if this guy got lucky and, and he had that picture from that other angle, we could see if that, that bearing had ate into his backside of his clutch. If it didn't, back to the picture, if it didn't, 
then this clutch don't look bad. He could buy a Hunter Works uh, primary tool package, take this thing apart, replace the bearing, uh, get him a new Hunter Works belt, hopefully, and get this thing back on the road because he doesn't appear to have, uh, from again, from this angle, doesn't appear that it's eight into this part or have any exceptional wear, okay? So, basic what I'm telling you is, is that this picture it is worth a thousand words. I mean, it, I have an email that I send to show pictures of this, uh, a short video talking about it, but I've never went into the details side of it or shown you actual bad clutches. And so uh, videos really for me, believe it or not, you, know, you probably do believe it if you heard me say it a bunch of times, they shortcut my work. You call me with a problem that I think maybe it, because so, I'm gonna say, I don't know. Do we, do we, is your clutch touching both sides, one side, or no sides? And because the complaint on, on all of these just about is gonna be squealing bearing or squealing noise. Uh, it dies when I come to a stop, I can't get it in gear, etc. When you're having those problems, take this picture. This picture will tell you everything that you and I wanna know. You go, I think I know what I'm looking at. Send it here. Email me, tinyhunterworks.com, your picture, and I can tell you what you got going on. So hopefully, uh, once again, repeating for the 45th time probably, a picture is worth a thousand words, and by looking at these pics, you will know what to look for. Reminder, Hunterworks bell, subscribe, notifications. Uh, once again, as we always say, we appreciate you guys so much. We're doing business with us. We hope we're giving you good information and good product. Thank you.